Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a thrift haul for you. So it is a Salvation Army and Goodwill haul and I got a few things, not a lot. Um, uh, for Goodwill, I think I mainly shopped the dollar rack um, at this certain location. If you watched my previous video, the Goodwill haul I did there, I went to a location across town and I only shopped the $1 rack, but for stuff that I would wear, depending, you know, obviously I ignored sizes, but um, I'm trying out something new on my Poshmark closet. I'm going to see how it goes, so be sure to watch that video. I'll put like a, a card at the end of this video for you to go and check it out. Okay, so let's get into this haul. I'm going to go through the Goodwill stuff first and save the best for last, which was Salvation Army. <laughs> they had some really good stuff today. Um, like, I don't know, maybe I should go ahead and go through Salvation Army because half of you aren't going to watch through like five minutes, right? Okay, so the first thing, this girl packed up everything so perfectly for me. All right, so like I said, everything came off of the dollar racks. Um, it's stuff that they're basically about to send out to the bins, so I went ahead and picked these up so I don't have to go digging for them. All right, so this first item is a White House Black Market. It's a pretty floral, um, like a tank top. It's kind of a spandex type material. Oh, and it's got like these ruffles on the front. I know it's hard to see, but whoop. It's got ruffling on the front. Um, so I wanted to try to get a few things for spring because it is coming up. And spring here in South Carolina, it's pretty warm. So um, I know my customers, the majority of them are not in South Carolina. But I do have a lot of customers that are in Florida and Georgia. So obviously it's going to be a little bit warmer in those areas than it is here. So I went ahead and grabbed a few things. Not a lot, just a few. All right, so I got some t-shirts, which I rarely do, and I will go through what I spent on this haul. So this is the Goodwill, what I'm going through right now, okay? So I got some t-shirts. These are Nightmare Before Christmas, um, I think. Yeah. These things sell pretty well, and the reason is there's a lot of collectors of this. There's a lot of people who absolutely love anything Nightmare Before Christmas. So whenever I saw three shirts, I was like, okay, they're $1.50 each. I forgot about these. They were not on the dollar rack. Well, they were on the dollar rack, just the dollar fifty rack. All right, and then there's this one. And then there is this one. Such a weird looking dude. And you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not ashamed to say it, but I've never watched this movie. Like, never. Like, it never appealed to me. It was just something weird about it. I just like, no, I'm not. And, you know, I might get crucified for saying that. I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. I'll watch it one day and I'll be like, wow, why didn't I watch it sooner? Right? <clears throat> okay, so this is a... What is this exactly? It is a... Okay, I gotta figure out what it is first. <laughs> so it is ASOS. And so your head goes in here, one arm comes out here, and then the other arm is apparently here. So yeah, it's a weird funky shirt. All right, this is a Johnny Cash. Um, it's a t-shirt. Um, apparently, I got charged two fifty for it, which I did not realize. Well, okie dokie. Uh, this is from World Market, and it is a kimono, 100% rayon. I remember the first time I found something from World Market, I was like, wow. I always thought it was like a grocery store. I have never been there. So I see one, there's one in Columbia that I pass many times, um, but I always thought it was a grocery store. So apparently they sell clothes, which I didn't know until I started going to bins and I found these really, really cute like pajama pants. Oh my gosh, they were adorable. In fact, I think I sold those on my Poshmark closet whenever I first opened it. So yeah, it's this gorgeous, 
kimono. This is the sleeve. Just in time for festival season. Um, I don't know. I did grab some brands that I've never heard of before just because they were really cute and the material feels, I don't know, this is made in China so it probably isn't worth much but this is Miru and it's just a little like a jacket. It feels like it's suede but you know it's polyester because they can just fake everything. Polyester. So it feels like suede. Um, it's got like these zipper pockets. But yeah, just a cute little jacket. It would look cute over a white tank and some jeans. Alright, this is a Hard Rock Cafe Las Vegas t-shirt. I just sold uh, one of my Hard Rock Cafe shirts really fast, so I was like, I'll try another one. Um, this is Mink Pink. I have never sold this brand before, but I did look up comps and they look promising. So... Um, yeah, it's like this metallic gold uh, tunic top. Cute. It has a sticker on the back. What is this? Please don't be covering a hole. Okay, we're good. My leg is going to sleep. I've been sitting on this floor doing this video since uh, the last two videos. Alright, so this is a Coco and Jameson. No clue, but... I was thinking, you know, festival season. It's cute. It's got, it's this top. Okay. So it looks like a basic black top. But it's got the beautiful embroidered sleeves that are mesh. And then it's got basic regular sleeves, kind of poofy. Um, but yeah, this right here, let me show you. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? so pretty all right this is a Daniel rain which I like some of their stuff they have some pretty stuff um, I have sold this before I'm sure it will sell it's just a basic polyester top this is J crew I need to quit buying J crew at least the factory stuff because it just sits they have some really cute stuff, I'm not going to lie. This is like an anchored shirt. It's a button down. Um, I've got a shirt similar to it in my closet right now. That has like polka dots on it. Polka dots. But anyway, it's just this cute little anchors. And it's J Crew. Alright, this is Miss Me. Um, I've been picking up a lot of Miss Me stuff. So... I don't know. It might not do too well, but like I said, this stuff costs a dollar each, so it's not going to hurt me. I'll at least make a dollar off of it. Because you can send an offer that people cannot refuse. If you have something set for 30, they like it, and you send it to them for like, I don't know, 10 or 9 or 8, they're going to accept it, right? Maybe. Alright, so this is a free people top. I did not actually look it over like I should have for holes, which is a bad mistake. And I should have because I already found one. But anyway, um, oh well. My loss. It's free people. It's this cute see through floral top, but this over here. This side is, it's supposed to look like that. So, no wonder nobody else wanted to pick it up. I can't believe I can pay attention. Now, I might be able to get it fixed if I take it to the repair. Maybe, but I doubt it. I'll probably just sell it as is. Maybe somebody wants to cut off the sleeves. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, this is a J. Crew acrylic wool nylon spandex sweater. It was kind of cute. I like these sweaters that have really long sleeves. And I don't... That's what this is. So it's like a brown color, but it's got these super long sleeves on it, which I think are adorable. And they're kind of flared at the end, belled, I guess you call it. Really cute. 
definitely needs to be dry cleaned. And that's another thing. I've been taking a lot of stuff to dry cleaners, and I'm going to stop. Because, oh, I can machine wash it. Good. Um, I had a beautiful St. John top, right? And it had like a little white detailing around the collar. And it was kind of yellowed. So I was like, okay, I'm going to take it to the dry cleaners. It says a dry clean only. So I take it to the dry cleaners. Nothing wrong with the shirt at all. It, that was it. Like it was just a little discolored. So I take it there. They dry clean it. And I get home and I look. Of course, the collar is white and beautiful. But apparently the heat that they use like melted some of the line, the, the threading in the shirt because you could like see shiny spots and lines. So I'm like, never again. I refuse. If people, I'll just tell people, you know, dry clean at your own risk because I don't understand why I would say dry clean only if it's going to like ruin the shirt. Anyway, rant over. All right, so this is a brand I'm not familiar with. It's Love Culture. Um, but it's this polka dot top. It's like a front tie. It's sheer. Long sleeved. Cute. Um, this is another White House Black Market. And it is just a, um, like a wrap top. It needs to be rewrapped a little bit, but yeah. <clears throat> so I don't know. This name stuck out to me. It's Valentina. I think I was getting it confused with Valentino. I don't know. But anyway, it's just this weird funky looking shirt. I was like, whatever. I'll throw it on there. I think that's what it was. Let me look real quick because I'm pretty sure Valentino is the name of the really expensive brand. Valentina is just... It's on Poshmark. Well, their pocketbooks sell for a lot. Huh. But their tops don't sell for anything. I wonder why. Do you know another brand that has pocketbooks that sell for a ton of money, but their clothes don't do so well? If so, let me know in the comments. I'm definitely going to say, um, Coach. Now, on Poshmark, I've seen some really nice Coach pocketbooks being sold for a lot of money. You know, the newer stuff. Of course, the older stuff, it doesn't sell for like 20 bucks, maybe. Like, I find a lot of vintage coach, like the leather, the genuine leather bags, and I can't make but 20 bucks. But their clothes, they don't sell at all, like for nothing. It's not. All right, so this is an Athleta Extra Small. I think it's like a bathing suit cover up, maybe. It's, it feels like a bathing suit. It might just be a dress. Um, but yeah. It's like a lime green. It looks yellow. It's in really good shape. Alright. This is another White House Black Market. It's this dress. It's really heavy. But I thought it was kind of cute. Somebody would like it. White House Black Market does okay. I mean, it's... You know, nothing extravagant, but it will give you a few bucks here and there, so. This is a Converse One Star, and it is just a black tank top dress. Just a sundress. That is it. It's got, like, the fringing on the bottom. And this last bag from the Goodwill is another Athleta. And it's just like I said, the last one, like, so it's just like a cover-up type thing. That's all. Really cute. I love that one. Alright. So that was the Goodwill retail haul. And all of that right there costed me $30. So now I'm going to show you the Salvation Army haul that I have. <clears throat> and this haul cost me $23. Alright, so the first item I'm pulling out is a Tory Burch. It is a 100% silk, size 2. Oop. 
Um, it's a green top. Now, I don't know if my lighting is going to show a stain that I didn't see at the store. I usually find a lot of stains when I'm photographing things, like always, and I'm so bummed. Um, but yeah, I don't see anything wrong with it. There's a few little specks. Well, that's nothing, so I don't know. If it is stained, I'll throw it in the wash because you know what? I've washed soap plenty of times and it does not affect it. Not that I've noticed. I don't see anything wrong with it. Wait, what about back here? Anyway, so yeah, it's just this silky top. It has like a, a necktie or it ties right here. So, pretty. And I've been looking. I'm like, there's got to be something wrong with it because people don't just donate stuff like this. But then I forget, you know, people die and people don't care about what they have in clothing. They just throw it all at the Goodwill. You never know about that. Like, a lot of people think that way. They're like, oh, well, people don't throw out good stuff. They only throw out their junk they don't want. But, you know, say somebody dies and they have a ton of stuff. Most people aren't going to go digging through their stuff. They're just going to bag it up and throw it away. <clears throat> or donate it. This is a Free People. It is a cold shoulder um, top. Really cute. It's got like an open back. Um, yeah, it's got some, I guess, mesh, and then it's got it's lined with mesh as well. Um, this is Lululemon. Uh, let's see what size is it. It is a size eight. Hmm. Maybe I should keep it. All right, so this is just a Lululemon. It's an exercise top, an athletic top, good condition. Um, just the basic. I'm wearing Lululemon pants. Yeah, that won't fit me. <laughs> um, and yeah, with Lululemon, if I find Lululemon in my size, I like I'll go to source it, and I'm like, cause you know it's a pretty good flip. Um, but yeah, I end up keeping them if they fit me. I don't care. I've already got two pairs of pants. I'm like, nope, I'm going to keep them because I I like they're so comfortable. It's totally worth the price. Um, Alright, so, okay. So this is We the Free, which is free people. And it's just this funky looking crop top thing. It's like more cropped in the back. No. Okay, there we go. So yeah, it's just like a little cute little top. It looks like it would fit me. Um, it's kind of oversized. It's got pleats on it. Really cute. So it's just a basic top. All right, I'm almost to the end of this bag. All right, this is a Madewell sweater. Yeah, I know, I saw I was getting spring stuff. I ended up getting a bunch of stuff that's not spring stuff. Now I looked this over because I was like, okay, there's got to be a hole in it because, you know, I got that mentality that people don't donate things that are in perfect condition when they do, but I still think it's just trash. But anyway, it's just this cute little, um, it's, it's not really cable knit. It's kind of like a braided, you know, but it's like a peach and gray. Really pretty. All right. Um, this is, what is this? Oh, some more mink pink mink pink and it is like it looks like an animal print but it's um see-through and i believe this is either a tunic top or a dress i bought it in the dress section but i'm pretty sure it's like a tunic i don't know what i'm gonna list it as i'll have to look it up i'm sure somebody else has got the same thing but as you see it's kind of like got here it's probably easier to see it like this see yeah <laughs> all right and the last item in this haul is this Chanel um, it is vintage made in France you can barely see the stuff the writing on the tag but anyway so here is a label and this is a label the tag the material tag and all I don't know this material tag but I can see made in France and I can see some numbers but it's extremely light um, there's no doubt that this is real the material just the feel of the material you can tell that it's a high quality material so it does have shoulder pads which I feel 
makes it older even though that's probably just a myth in my head um, but yeah it's just this black um, dress shirt I did find a spot on it okay there it is so anyway let me show you the button I did not have it authenticated um, I'll send it to um, take some pictures and send it to the design the designer diva girls on Facebook um, I forget the name but anyway I have it saved I usually go to them to get things authenticated um, but yeah it's just a button up there is a stain which honestly uh, I don't know what that is but I'm sure I can get that out it's just it looks kind of like food smeared I guess but yeah so that was that and I spent 23 on that so that was my haul um, I think I did pretty good I have enough stuff to keep me busy for the next week um, I have listed so much stuff I'm trying to get to 600 listings I'm at like 510 right now so hopefully this stuff will get me a little closer um, I don't want to go over 600 listings I just want to stay at 600 so I've noticed like when I get to 590 listings all of a sudden like I just have sell after sell after sell and it just drops down so fast so it's like I can never keep up and I can never get past 590 something about that mark at 590 I don't know what it is but it just stuff just keeps coming out of my Poshmark closet constantly I'm just like okay I can't keep up I mean it's a good thing right so I'm trying to get back to uh, 590 600 all right guys so I hope you all have a great night and I will talk to you on the next video Bye.